pour le climat est accepté. It's been five long years since Paris. Merci d'être là pour la marche. And more than a year since Merci this pledge from the Liberal government to not only meet Canada's targets to reduce carbon emissions. It's an ambitious target, but it's doable. But to exceed them. <laughs> now the Liberal government says it knows how it will get there. A far-reaching proposal, $15 billion in investment for green transit, more electric vehicles, incentives to retrofit homes. But mainly a much heftier carbon price, more than tripling it to hit $170 a ton in 10 years' time. A contentious move politically after the bitter battle some Conservative premiers have been waging against the tax and a Supreme Court challenge pending. I just can't understand uh, for the life of me why anyone would want to put a burden on the backs of the hardworking people. It's also really disrespectful of the Supreme Court, simply saying we're confident so we're going ahead. The Prime Minister framing the hike as necessary. We will put even more money in the pockets of Canadians by increasing the price on pollution. And putting an emphasis on the rebates to offset the higher price at the pumps. Those checks will soon be much more noticeable. Those rebates will be received quarterly rather than once per year. A shrewd move according to many political watchers and environmental policy experts. It's the lowest cost policy uh, that we have in the toolkit. It's going to be the one that's going to be best for our economy and it's going to return money to households. The Liberals have calculated and say this plan will exceed Canada's Paris targets by as little as 1% on its own and as much as 10 if the provinces are willing to play ball and commit to more stringent measures to tackle climate change. Salima Shivji, CBC News, Ottawa.